We're still several weeks away from the opener of Ohio football 2015, but fall camp ends on Friday. Classes start in Athens on Monday. Scrimmages are always big tests of fall camp, and the Cats had their second one on a dark Tuesday morning in southeast Ohio. The offense, well, trying to find their way. The defense, they're a little further along, but that O, trying to get in the groove. The biggest thing right now glaring would be the turnovers that we had. On uh, a 50 play scrimmage to have, I think we had four. Uh, that's too many. And then the, the penalties, we were behind the chains. Uh, I think we had four second and 15 or more. I think if you, we get that corrected, uh, there's enough things in there with the run, the balance of the run pass. The guys made some, made some plays. I was happy with what Seabass got done today. The defense really grabbed the headlines and started on drive one with the Bass interception. There were two other picks, Nathan Carpenter and freshman Keith Key had the other two. For Bass, it's his final year and he's trying to lock in. Yeah, it felt good. Um, I haven't had the rock on my hands uh, since last year, so I mean, it felt real good to make a play. Um, but I thought the defense did great. You know, there was great energy. You know, everybody was kind of, you know, clicking together, and that's what we're gonna need. You know, kind of drive us this year is that that defensive vibe. You know, where even if we are on a, you know, one yard line, two yard line, something can happen that will completely change the game for us. I think when it comes to the pass plays, you know, it's nice to have those on my resume and kind of, you know, something to fall back on. But ultimately, it's going to come down and making more of those plays. So there are still a lot of offensive questions in fall camp, and there's still no resolution as to who the starting quarterback is going to be. Offensive coordinator Tim Albin says he's going to study the film and then continue to make his evaluation. And it's all leading up to September the 3rd in the opener as Ohio takes on Idaho in Bosco. Tickets still available. Click around at OhioBobcats.com for details on those. That's continuing coverage of Fall Camp 2015 with Ohio football. For Tanner Smith and his entire Bobcat TV crew, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and yes, this is Bobcat TV.